Hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today, we are gonna unbox the new Merca Leros S. So here we have, this is pretty much just a mini version of the Leros uh, stick. This is a short electric wall and ceiling sander. So this one's designed pretty much for getting up close and personal with whatever surface you want to go sanding. So here we are. I'm going to unbox it. This is less than 3.5 kilos. So this is the lightest wall sander, well wall floor sander on the market. Here we have it. Quickly open it up. What we have inside here, we got these extra couple of boxes, different mixed profiles. But what you do get inside the box, you get a sample pack of the Adrenets, so you get a couple of different sizes. You get the 120 and 180 inside here, you just get a couple of each. And then here we have it. So here's this bad boy here. So the stick probably sits, I would say just maybe a meter, just under a meter long. long. Like I said, it's the lightest wall and floor sander on the market. So you get your, your stick plus your four meter power uh, connection. So depending on which country you are from, you will get your, um, you know, your right adapter for your wall plug. So this, this is Bluetooth connectivity as well. So you can obviously jump on, connect it to Bluetooth and see, um, you know, from the vibration to um, the hours that it's been operating and the way it's been used as well, as in your RPMs. You do have your turn on switch here and you do have your control buttons here from up and down. I think this one starts at 5,000 RPMs. Each push you go up will give you an extra 1,000 RPMs at a time, all the way up to 10,000. So the thing I like about this too, where the other stick, obviously you don't have the hand grip here. Um, so yeah, it, it just usually doesn't have a hand grip. So it will usually come back about here and you, and you hold it up here. With this one as well, you can hold it onto the wall and you can, get really close. With these things as well, you want the sander to do the work itself. You don't want it to, you know, plow onto the wall and start sort of gouging because with these, this, this is a random orbital sander, so you do want it just to do its own thing. So you don't want to be cutting into any of your surfaces or your plaster work that you've just um, patched up or filled. So another thing with this, the only wall floor sander with 180 degree swivel. So with this, you can move it up and down. So what that makes for with the other ones that only use the mitt a, a little bit like this, it moves compared to the competitors, where a lot of the time you're gonna have to be sanding like this. You cannot move it 180 like that. So when you come down to like this, it's gonna hit the ground. So obviously you have to do this, and you're getting a lot more wear and tear on your shoulders and your arms and your wrist. So that's another awesome um, thing with the Merca stick sanders. Uh, like I said, the only ones in on the market that do have the 180 swivel. So even when you are doing ceilings, you can be going like this instead of like this, which is always um, you know, having a center point of gravity, that's a lot better. Another awesome thing, you can turn the mini stick into an extension. So you can buy the Merca extension with a lot of the other extensions as well. They can range from, you know, two to 300 to $400 just to make your extension. Merca selling theirs for between 100 to $150. So it's really cheap. And then you have, you know, the difference you can use the mini or put the extension on and just use it like the normal, the normal stick, the normal Leros. So 
That's pretty much a quick bit of a rundown on the new Merca Leros S. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly show you how to set it up, turn it on, and we can start going through sanding out the walls. All right, so we're just going to connect it up. It doesn't really matter which way you put off, put it on. It's pretty much just taking it off. So, um, but I always put my power in first, like I said, and I'll just put my hose in like that. That's my suction hose. Now you can see you've got your green button here. So you just have to wait a couple of, you know, 30 seconds before you can turn it off or on or anything like that. Well, there you go, you turn it one more time and then you can control your RPMs. So you've got your different RPMs there. Goes all the way up and all the way down. So each push you're controlling um, your speed of your RPMs. So I always pretty much like to have it, you know, obviously not running full ball, you know, just a bit back, uh, halfway, which is always good. And this is your operation button. So this which turns your sander off and on. So over here, I've got it set now to off. This is your off. This is here where your vacuum will run the whole time with or without your sander, okay? With this one here. This will only run when your sander's on. So I always like to have it in that position. This is the first time I've used this, so I want to make sure I've got the right pad on as well. It's a 180 grip or profile, which we have. Okay, so when you're always coming to a wall as well, you don't want to pretty much start it and then you go on to the wall like that. Because what you will do, especially if it's a um, previously plastered surface, you will just eat and bite straight into your uh, plaster work. So you always want to pretty much put it on the wall first, have it flat. You never want to be applying too much pressure. It is a random old rule sander and it will pretty much do its own sanding. All you have to do is just control it. Not much weight you need to go putting onto it uh, because you will eat through your backing pad. Um, you, even though you do have a pad saver on here as well, but you know, you can go eating through your, your, your backing disc pretty easy. Um, if, if you know, you, you're gonna be pushing too hard on it. So always sit it on the wall first, turn it on, and just, just does its own thing. Extension, you can do your ceilings, but even like this, whoop. take my own advice. Even like this. So we are lucky these ceilings are low because we are waiting for the extension to come. But we're just going to make do with what we got, like I said. So that's pretty much a bit of a rundown on how this thing works. We're going to go through and give all these walls a sand. Makes it so much easier having a system like this. We can just go through these walls in a matter of minutes. Being up close and personal is something I like because I always hesitate about um, the other stick machines because you're so far away from it. So being up close like this, I can get nice close to the wall, I can see what I'm doing and I can control what I'm doing a lot easier, especially with the hand grip here, because you're really close to it. So you can see this with any mark. <laughs> So just for the people that don't actually know what a Merca is, why do you run this system? I run the Merca system because they're pretty much the only 
dustless sanding company in the world that specifically design, innovate dustless sanding machines. So with a lot of the other competitors out there, you know, they may you know, make 50 to 100 different uh, tools, machines, so they don't specialize in that one thing. Where Merca, they are the first and they are the innovators of dustless sanding uh, machinery. So when it came to dustless, uh, I always, you know, I went through myself because I get a lot of questions all the time. Hey, you know, what would you use between this brand or this brand, this brand? I always say, don't always take my advice. I had to ask the same questions when I wanted to invest in a uh, dustless system. So I jumped online, checked out all the YouTube videos, check out the reviews, and then go from there on making your right decision. For me, Merkel was my decision um, for them couple of reasons. They are usually a lot lightweighter machines. Um, they're a lot more controllable. They've got a lot better center point of gravity. They are usually set a lot lower. Uh, they mightn't bite um, or be as aggressive as a lot of the other sanders out there, but with having a paddle as well, you can control um, the speed and the RPMs that you do want to control. So if you're coming to an edge, you know, I could be like, have a flat stick at 10,000 RPM, and as I'm coming down, I can wind it down by just controlling this paddle, and this will lower my RPM. So it's good for woodworking, any intricate work like that, uh, we got a lot more control than a lot of the other um, systems. Don't get me wrong, all products out there, all makes have their benefits, but for me, the Merca was what I wanted to run. Uh, the Abronet pads, not many people can uh, deny that, you know, the Abronet pads from Merca are the best pads, uh, abrasives in the world. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, argue on that. So a lot of the time, even if you are running a lot of the other systems, most people you will see, they will have the Merca pad if they are accessible or available to them. So that's pretty much a wrap. I appreciate you always tuning in. I try to keep them as simple and as short as I can while keeping it informative and maybe fun along the way. So. Yeah, I appreciate you as always jumping on, uh, subscribing, and keeping up to date with all our DIY and videos that we uh, like to share. Much love.